What's up guys? Today we are going to uh, Roadkill Nights in Pontiac, Michigan on Woodward Avenue. Basically it's a car show, but the Roadkill Nights has a lot of the people from that show there and it's drag racing, it's street legal drag racing on Woodward Avenue in Michigan, which is really cool. Um, there's food trucks, there's vendors, there's all kinds of like cool stuff to walk around and see, car shows, and then um, there's it's sponsored by Dodge, so they have these Dodge throw rides. They have like these um, simulator things that you can like drag race in, where it's like an actual challenger, but it's like a video game. And then they have the Dodge throw rides, which are at last. Cool event, and uh, see you when you get there.
so this year at Roadkill Nights, they had it in a new location. Um, let me zoom out here a little bit. So you can see M1 Concourse down here. Um, this is where Roadkill Nights used to be. And if you go up the road, it wasn't far at all, but it's up here. And let's zoom back in to this parking lot. This is basically where the entire show took place this year. Um, they had Woodward blocked off from Clinton Street and then obviously quite further down here to have the quarter mile drag strip set up. And in this small area right here is where they were doing the Dodge Throw Rides. Um, they had the stage set up here for, you know, Ice Cube and whatnot. Uh, we didn't make it to that far, that long, unfortunately, but um, all, a lot of these roads were blocked off. And it was just, you know, there was a handful of cars parked, you know, like a little car show type deal. But uh, nothing really worth seeing. And then basically you'd come in here and this parking lot was trashed. I mean, like, I wouldn't have wanted to drive a car through it. It was completely crumbling. There were giant potholes. Um, it had rained earlier in the day, so there were just puddles everywhere because of all the potholes and low spots. And it was insanely cramped. It wasn't really packed in a sense of more people than normal, but you had the same amount of people in about half or maybe even less than half of the space. And then when it came to the drag racing, obviously that was right here on Woodward, so the cars would basically kind of like line up right here on Pike Street, and then they would turn right here, and this was essentially your burnout box, staging area, in these like treat areas, there was, you know, obviously a fence along the line, along the road. On this side, it was like a VIP area. So you had to pay to get in there because they were doing like the meet and greets and stuff like that. And there was not a lot of people in there, but they had optimum viewing for sure. On this side though, obviously you were allowed to stand right up against the fence, but it was such a small area comparatively to the M1 concourse area that you were not getting up against the fence basically like you had to stand there for an hour plus and wait for people to move or leave a couple different times we went up there we were like seven or eight people back and i mean it was essentially shoulder to shoulder it was cramped there were some bleachers which was cool but they were so low that you really weren't going to get a good view you were going to be like at the highest spot on the bleachers a head length higher than all the people that were standing and uh just really wasn't worth it but yeah, I mean, the event is always awesome, for sure. Always a blast. But um, I just think this year, it, doing it in a smaller parking lot, I'm not sure why they did that. I definitely hope next year they go back to M1 Concourse or even go somewhere else because that parking lot was rough. So they usually have it right here at the M1 Concourse. As you can see right here, Roadkill Nights on Woodward. Um, the M1 Concourse is like a giant kind of private racing track. Uh, I shouldn't say giant, but obviously very big for the area. A lot of nice stuff there. And then right here, you can even see in the Google Maps picture the uh, burnout marks. So this is where they would have the Dodge Thrill Rides, where they have the Chargers and Challengers and whatnot, you know, spinning you around. And then they would just have stuff all over. I mean, just lines of these exotic cool cars that people bring in over here right on Woodward, right where the tracks go across. That would be like your staging area and where the drag races would start. And you would have people lined up on both sides just everywhere. And there was so much room. You could walk up at any time and be right up against the fence and see the track. Well, you see Woodward Avenue. There were, you know, same stuff, you know, vendors everywhere, food trucks everywhere. But so much more room. And everything was, like, nice and clean paved and whatnot. So... It was, it was a lot better, in my opinion.